As one who's been an itinerant minister now for about 35 years, uh, 1988 I believe, mm -hmm. um, and itinerant we mean traveling around different churches as what you're called to do. What would you say to emerging itinerant ministers, people that maybe Father is calling to start to travel around the body of Christ? They're stepping out, they're starting, they're thinking about that, or God's calling them towards that. What would you say to young emerging itinerant ministers? Okay. Prophetic or not, the, the, the itinerant's the focus. The contrast between being in a local church, a local church, and and travelling by being the priority of their life and ministry, being yeah. invited to speak in other places. Okay, I'll tell you a couple of things. One, smell of sheep. Okay. I, I get a little bit concerned yeah. if an itinerant hasn't had. What I mean by the smell of sheep on them. I mean is that they have been involved enough with the flock yeah. to think and understand yeah. and be sensitive to the local congregation, to a local yeah. pastor, to, yeah. to yeah. Uh, an itinerant that is organizationally based and has very little a background involved with local church responsibilities, local church mm -hmm. involvement, local mm -hmm. church mm -hmm. a commitment, can not can lack in their ability to identify when yeah. they travel to churches. I believe that young or old an itinerant should have either a background, like as you said, yeah. I went, oops, yeah. I hit the microphone. <laughs> that's okay, that's me. Um, <laughs> but in 1988, we went itinerant. Yeah. But for 15 years before that, yeah. I pastored a local church. Yeah. Which, which meant that I understood how a local church pastor really feels. Yes. Um, and, and so I could be sensitive to that. Yes. Now, if you're a younger ministry and you may never have pastored a church, but you, I would encourage you to be involved yeah. in your local yeah. church, yeah. to, to, to um, interact with people within your local church, and above all, with the oversight of yeah. your local yeah. church. If you're going out itinerant, yeah. you, and particularly if you're younger, you really need a strong base yeah. that believes in you and you believe in them. Yes. And there's strong pastoral apostolic yeah. oversight involved in your life. Because when you go out there, mm -hmm. you're in an exposed. You're you know vulnerable. Yeah. You're you're out off the end of a limb. Mm. You you better not be on a solo flyer. Come on. If you've got an Come office on. somewhere out of which you operate, and you may go to a local church four or five times a year, but that's it. The, you're 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 flying on your own. The devil's not a fool. Yeah. If he sees a solo, fl it's like. A lion. Mm, mm, mm. You see yeah, these yeah. documentaries and yeah. they crouch through the grass. And what are they waiting for? They're waiting for one of these gazelle or whatever they are to veer off from the flock Come on. and become this is isolated. This is and they're in the group. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. safe. Yeah. But on their own, they're very vulnerable. Stay protected by staying connected. I tell you, you yeah. have to you because have to. Yeah. because yeah. we're fighting a very skillful. Now he's ugly and rotten, but he's very skillful. Yeah, yeah. He's not stupid. Do not be unaware of the enemy's schemes. Good. Yeah. Good because we, the more itinerant a person is, mm, mm. and the more out there they are, yeah, yeah. the more vulnerable they are. Would you also say that on that 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 um, when you're talking about the young. Uh, emerging and you know maybe haven't passed it or led what comes to my mind is some people might go I'm going to go out there itinerant because pretty much <laughs> I don't like the local church it's almost like I don't want to be uh, almost like I need to spread my wings and go and do what I want it's it's not a place for people that want to escape the local church that's catastrophe <laughs> but that's you hit, catastrophe. am I making sense and what I'm yeah. saying it, it's like I mean 
It's just catastrophe. They won't let me do what I want to do here in the local church. <laughs> so I'll go out to other churches and do what my local oversight who loves me and has a responsibility to disciple me. I don't want to submit to the disciple process here. So let me go and be a blessing. Was that too... No, I think that, that I think was I think, that too intense. I think my prophetic son just <laughs> nailed the hides of a few people watching this, but nevertheless, critically so, critically so, Steve, yeah. because yeah. you have nailed it. It's it's a calling by the Holy Spirit yeah. and by the Christ of the Church yeah. Yeah. to pick up a responsibility yeah. that can I say nicely? Yeah. You would be spiritually suicidal yeah to pick up if it wasn't for the Christ calling you yeah because on itinerant do you know that the average mm. the average lifespan ministerially ministerially of an itinerant yeah. in Australia and New Zealand yeah two years I had no idea two years no idea because well, we're doing that right many then. people have a blast <laughs> And then they get beaten half to death and they give it up. You need to be anchored. You need to know that you're just but a, a bough extended from a very strong tree. And you need to know so that good. there are so people praying for you, interceding mm. for mm. you, and people to whom you are accountable. So good. Um, and can I emphasize, if you're prophetic, yeah. We've talked about any itinerant. Let me say this. Whatever your calling is, if you're prophetic, seek out oversight that are apostolic and pastoral, not just prophetic. You need the balance. If you're an itinerant teacher, mm. make sure you have apostolic prophetic people. But there's, there's always got to be a pastoral element. Mm -hmm. Any itinerant, needs to know that they are pastorally connected Great. to a pastoral heart. Yeah. Because unless you have, as a member of your oversight, someone that's strongly pastoral, yeah. you will never fully understand the nature of the local churches into which you go. So I, mm, I pray mm. that that will help you because so emerging mm. prophetic and apostolic and and. Evangelistic, evangelistic anything yep it, it's a very vulnerable time yeah in yeah. your life yeah and yeah. and the, the, your adversary knows that i'm not being paranoid i just would love to see you yeah. not yeah. last two years but come on 52 right. years and the body of christ still benefit from you in the decades to come praise god be well anchored have a great. strong oversight relationships great great, great. amen We'll lean into itinerants a little bit more next time because I think there's more Father wants us to explore, but I pray you're blessed by that. Encouraged by him, slapped by me, and then encouraged by him again. <laughs> that's, sometimes that's the way we roll, but bless your heaps.